Hey folks, Chef Jesse here. How's everybody doing today? A nasty day today, right? It was rainy. I went out earlier to do my taxes. Uh, it was snowing when I was out there. Now, I guess it, and then I came home and took a nap because I was in pain, so I had to take some medication and I was out like a light. And I just woke up, so I'm a little bit drowsy. Uh, and now I see that uh, it's just wet and stuff. So, nasty day. I should have make, make, I should have been making soup on a day like this, but uh, we do it another day. Today is Taco Tuesday. I don't know who made up that up uh, Taco Tuesday because you can eat tacos any day, but Taco Tuesday. So I'm gonna be making some tacos. I'm gonna be using today um, some tacos that Gilbert bought. Uh, it's it's uh, called Stand and Stuff, and it taco shells with a hint of lime. It sounds pretty good. Look at that. Okay, it's my old paso and a hint of lime. So we'll see whether that, see whether that, how that works. Uh, I'm going to start brining my, I'm going to, we usually do uh, different, you know, different stuff for, for the, uh, for the tacos. But today we're using just ground beef and I have, um, uh, I have about three, three pounds of beef here. Pretty, pretty. beef is getting expensive, uh, almost eight bucks here. And, uh, but I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be brining the ground beef. Um, and I'm just going to use simple ingredients, salt, pepper, garlic, and uh, stuff like that. And that's it. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, I'm not putting any beans into the meat because obviously I don't like beans. Ah! Uh, so, but I'm going to be browning the, the meat, uh, the beef, and then we're going to be putting them into the tacos. I'm going to be making simple tacos. I'm just going to be putting in lettuce, tomatoes, and... Uh, some avocados, some cheese, and that's it. Very simple, very uh, easy. Uh, I'm not going through. Uh, I'm in pain right now, folks. My my back is killing me. I don't know how I'm standing, but uh, I got to cook, and I got to show you guys my cooking. So uh, I'm in pain, yeah, but I am going to cook. But that is what I do, and that's what I love. So anyway, folks, uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how I start browning this meat. And then uh, we'll take it from there. So stay tuned because I'll be back in a few. So folks, I am ready to start browning my meat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you, but let me turn on the stove. Okay. I'm going to put this at medium. And what I did, I put some, so a little bit of uh, olive oil in the bottom of the pan. I put some garlic powder, salt, uh, pepper. I put this thing called sofrito, which uh, I bought in the supermarket. You can make it yourself. It's basically uh, green peppers and onions and garlic and um, and this thing called cilantro and this thing called regal. Re 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 uh, and you blend it all up in the blender and you make sofrito. And you can store it. You can freeze it. You can put it in your fridge. It lasts, you know, lasts a while. And you just take a spoon or two you know, according to how much you're making, and it gives the the the, the food a delicious, delicious, delicious uh, flavoring. So anyway, but I don't have time to make it. So what I do is I buy it already done. Okay, so it looks pretty good. So let me show you how it looks because it smells delicious the minute you give it the heat. Okay, so there it goes. Okay, basic. You can use more or less. You know, according to the flavoring you want. It's, okay. it's, it's green. Sometimes it's red. Uh, I think it's when they use tomato based uh, when they base it with tomatoes I think it gives it the red the red uh, color so I don't want to use all this meat because I don't think I'm gonna use all this meat so I'm gonna lower the flame here and let me just use half of the pack okay and I'm gonna okay and again always always wash your hands when you do this I wash my hand I just wash my hands I'm constantly washing my hands because you got to be careful and you don't want to contaminate the rest of the package of the meat so always have to I always got the water running and uh, paper towels let's use paper towels because you don't want to use uh, a towel over and over and over so use it. okay so the meat is in here okay so more or less I'm making I'm making about you know I'm gonna eat maybe uh, three tacos tops Gilbert probably four uh, so four, five, seven, eight tacos, maybe, I don't know. So, I think this might meat be enough meat. Uh, I used a little bit more than half, actually. 
So I'm going to put this back immediately back into the freezer. I bought this meat. And it wasn't frozen, so now it's going to be. I'm going to put this back in the freezer. Give me a second. Okay. I got this crazy freezer here that... Oh. Okay, there you go. Back in, back in the freezer. Okay, so this is the meat. Let me raise up the temperature a bit. Now, like I said, I added everything in there, in the bottom. I'm going to be using... I like to give the meat a little bit of a color, so I'm going to be using this uh, Sasong accent, which has colantro. Uh, uh, I don't know what colantro is, uh, and a chote, which is a thing that gives food uh, coloring. So, uh, oh, coloring there. Okay, well, I don't know. Like I said, folks, I'm half asleep. I took a, uh, I took some Percocet. Ooh. And I fell asleep because my back has been killing me. And right, right now I'm in a little bit of pain. So I'm going to put... The reason I'm using this is I like to add a little bit of color. A little bit of the yellowish color to the meat. Okay. And flavor, of course. But I like that little... That little... Um, that flavor in that color that it gives the meat. Okay. And it's very easy to brown the meat. You know. Um, I usually brown it. And then, and then drain, the, you're going to get a lot of water from the meat that's going to let loose. So you take care of that by draining it later on. Of course, when you put it into your tacos, and you're going to you know, bite into your taco, you get a, it's going to be all drippy. And it's going to go all over the place. So you want to, after cooking it, you might want to drain the, the water. Okay, so let that cook in there for a little while. And it should be... And I'll show you how it looks after I cook it and brown it. So, folks, my meat is almost done. Uh, I just tasted it. It tastes delicious. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I ate everything, and it tastes delicious. I'm going to be adding some basil, a little bit of a touch of basil. I love basil. I love the way it smells. Out of it. it gives a great flavor. Uh, I have a basil plant and um, that I bought at the supermarket, and I get fresh basil out of it. And it tastes delicious. I mean, basil, it, it starts to, it, the, you can see the pieces in there. And it starts to let out this flavor that's amazing, amazing. So I put a couple leaves in there of basil. Not too much, because basil is strong. I used about two leaves. I washed them. The plant is right on my window. Picked it, washed it, chopped it up, and threw it in here. And it's going to give it a nice, nice flavor. And I'm just gonna, I'm just going to taste this to see how the meat is doing. Because it looks, looks like it's done already. It's got a lot of, uh, it's got, no, it doesn't have that much water in it. Depending how much you buy, you know, uh, the percentage of, you know, if you buy the, some meat, it's cheaper and it comes with more water. So, but this one looks pretty good. So, I might not have to drain it that much. But I'm going to taste it. I'm going to take a little scoop here from the side. Okay. Don't ever double dip. Okay. So, let's see. Delicious. The meat is delicious. Very simple. Not too much work. Not too much. Uh, too much ingredients. Oh, um, I'm gonna let it cook in there. So this thing cooked in about very quick. I mean, I browned the meat and it took me what five minutes, ten minutes. So now my meat is done. Okay. They sell taco seasoning uh, powder. You can put it in there, give it flavor. Uh, sometimes the taco shells come with a taco flavor uh, for the meat, and uh, you know you can use it, you, you use your imagination. The best thing about tacos is that you can use your imagination and uh, put anything in it. You can make ground beef tacos, steak tacos, chicken tacos, shredded ch tacos, fish tacos, uh, M and M's taco, whatever the hell that you you want to use. You can use so you just use your imagination i've said that before so anyway my, my meat is done i'm going to shut it off take it off the burner because you don't want to leave it on the burner because it, it will continue to cook and then it'll burn it okay so always if you can get the pot take it off the burner do so so i'm gonna shut it off and i'm going to switch it over to my back burner which i wasn't using it was cool and i'm going to let the meat cool down a bit and i'm going to start chopping up my my tomatoes and my lettuce and uh, pretty soon when Gilbert gets home from work in about another uh, half hour 45 minutes 
we should start eating dinner. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, so dinner's almost done. Um, I am about to put the taco shells in the oven for about three or four minutes to soften them up. Because that's what you got to do. You got to put them in the oven. I don't know. I'm not Mexican. I don't know. But that's what the instructions tells you to. So Anyway, no offense to the Mexicans. Anyway, folks, I'm going to make some frozen margaritas. And uh, this is the way I salted the edge of the, uh, the glass. I take some... Lime, I rub it around, and that's what makes the salt adhere to it. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some frozen margaritas because on Taco Tuesday, if you're eating Mexican, you gotta have the margarita, right? Something like that, I guess. So, anyway, folks, um, very simple, and uh, I got everything, all my stuff all cut up, chopped up, and I'm gonna start putting my tacos together in a few minutes. and Stay tuned for that. So, let me go over to my blender and start doing my. Frozen okay, folks, so I did my frozen margaritas. They're at the table, and now I'm going to start putting my tacos together. Okay, folks, so my taco shells are nice and warm. They're... You can play with them, you know, they're like... Anyway, these are standalone taco shells. So I'm not going to use my taco holder, because I have a taco holder that looks like this. These things are great. You can get them on Amazon. And th this actual one, you can slide it off and you get them bigger. So when you have a party, if you ever this freaking pandemic is over, you can have a taco party at home. So, but these are standalone ones and I like the standalone ones because they stand alone. So I'm gonna get them out of the oven right now. So folks, the only thing with these tacos is that you gotta really know how to eat them because they're wide. And when you eat them, when you, they might do the fall apart. So you gotta be careful how you eat them. So, you gotta know how to eat a taco. So, anyway, let me get these other ones out of the oven. Ooh, they're warm. This is white corn. I usually have yellow corn. This is this is white corn taco shells, but they have a hint of lime, which is nice. Now I'm gonna show you how I put these tacos together. And again, basic tacos, you know, nothing fancy. People are gonna say, that's not a taco. Yes, it is. You can do whatever you want with it, okay? There we go, so. There goes my taco shells. I'm going to start off with four. I'm going to start off putting the uh, the meat in the bottom, of course. Okay. And I'm going to use be using a scoop, scoop for or less of one tablespoon actually. And uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. And then there we go. To pour it in there. I'm gonna use I'm gonna using I'm gonna be using my tomatoes first, okay. And uh, there you go. Some more tomatoes in there. Oops, that's it. Okay, there you go. And tomatoes. Tomatoes are very good for you. I tell you. So, and more tomatoes. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to be topping it with lettuce. This is iceberg lettuce. Uh, this is what I always use. I guess this is typical of a taco, iceberg lettuce. You can use you can use romaine lettuce, but you don't get that crunch and you get a different kind of flavor. So tacos are traditionally iceberg lettuce. Okay. okay. I'm going to be using a... Uh, Gilbert likes uh, avocado, so I'm going to be putting some avocados in there. I don't eat avocados. I know they're supposed to be good for you, but I just don't do avocados. So we put the avocados there, and then it looks nice. All that green. Let me wash my hands once again. And then we're going to top it over some cheese, some Mexican blend. And it's going to look like this. There you go. Nothing fancy. Matter of fact, it looks nice and slimy. There you go. Give it a little push. And there you go. Look at that. And it looks nice. Uh, we got some taco sauce. We have some uh, cilantro lime sauce that's going to go in that. And this is your typical uh, easy made Chef Jesse's tacos. Okay. Uh, you could, like I said, you could use anything for tacos. You can, you can use your imagination. But 
That's your imagination, not mine. Okay. Okay, so the tacos are done, and I'm gonna go to the table, and then I'll show you how it looks at the table. So folks, I'm at the table, and I'm gonna show you how this looks, because it looks good. So, there goes your tacos. Easy made tacos, ground beef, lettuce, tomatoes, some avocados in there, buried in there, and the cheese. And it looks pretty good. And there goes, and these are standalone taco shells. They are, they have a hint of lime in them. So these are kind of new, so I've never seen these before. And we have some cilantro lime, and we have typical taco sauce, original. Some slices of lime there. And, uh, and then the frozen margarita. Because you gotta have a frozen margarita, right? So, there goes your frozen margarita. Let's look at the table. The table looks nice. And, uh... So, folks, with that done, we gotta go eat. Because the tacos are gonna get cold. And, uh, thank you for being with me in the kitchen today. And again... I need people to go to YouTube and like, you know, and, and subscribe to my channel. It's called Cooking with Uncle Jesse, okay? Just look it up. It's out there. I'm telling you it's there. Um, I give you ideas. Uh, I might show you something you don't know. You might make comments, whatever it is. Keep it nice, though. Uh, and, uh, hey, you know, I don't know anything. So, so, anyway, folks, with that said, stay safe. Mask six feet away you know all that good stuff and i see you guys tomorrow in the kitchen i don't know what's in the menu i'll think of that after i do the dishes i'll think of tomorrow's i will see what happens anyway love you guys and uh stay safe <laughs>